Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel where we talk about quick and easy, delicious, keto-friendly food. Ready for the holidays? In today's video, we're gonna make eggnog three different ways. Now before we get started, just to note that all three recipes here are keto-friendly and using an artificial sweetener. You could easily substitute with equal amounts of regular sugar if you're not making the keto version. All right, here we go with our three recipes. The first is a super quick and easy eggnog using raw egg. Now I'm making single serving of eggnog here, but you can always double or quadruple the recipe. So here's one half cup of heavy cream, one egg yolk, a tablespoon of sweetener, I have erythritol here, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. And the most important ingredient is a teaspoon of rum or bourbon. I didn't have either, so here I'm using whiskey. We'll cover this up and give it a quick blend for about 10 seconds or so. Now, word about raw eggs. If you're worried about raw eggs, don't be. Studies have shown that one in 20,000 or 30,000 eggs are contaminated with salmonella. And of those, 95% of them are on the shell. So if you're careful in cracking your egg and you're using the yolk on the inside, it's very rare to get any salmonella poisoning. But that's also why I have some alcohol in this recipe. Since we're using a raw egg, that alcohol, when in contact with any pathogen for a period of time, will help remove any threat or risk of food poisoning. And there you go. That's basically the finished raw egg eggnog. We'll pour this in a cup and let it chill in the refrigerator until we're ready to drink it. Now I like to dust a little cinnamon on top, mainly for looks. Now check out that consistency. That is a smooth eggnog. We'll do a taste test once we've made the other two. The second eggnog is basically your traditional cooked eggnog. And this one we do not use any alcohol, so it is kid friendly. So in a blender, we'll put half a cup of heavy cream, one egg yolk, a tablespoon of sweetener, here I have erythritol, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. We'll cover this up and blend it for about 10 seconds again. Because we are going to temper these eggs or cook the eggs effectively, we don't have to worry about using alcohol to you know, prevent the risk of any food poisoning. Again, look at that consistency. That is a nice eggnog, a little bit watered down, but now we are going to temper it. So in a pan, we'll add the blended eggnog. We'll turn the burner on low heat and start tempering the eggs. Now it's important to keep whisking and stirring these as it starts to cook so we're not making scrambled eggs. We're just tempering the eggs, getting the temperature to just around 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna speed up the video, but this took me about three minutes of whisking until we, I saw some bubbles form on the bottom and you see that the coating on the side of the pan starts to become thick. 
You could also use a spoon to take a look. And if the back side of the spoon is coated, then it is done. We can take it off the heat and pour it into our glass. Now this does need to chill in the refrigerator for a few hours. Otherwise you're drinking hot eggnog. Now there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, I usually think of eggnog as a nice, cool, refreshing drink. So dust with a little cinnamon and then this can go in the fridge. Now you could look that it is a little thin, but this will thicken as it cools down in the fridge. Finally, we have an eggless eggnog. This is for those that might have an egg allergy. So in a blender, we'll add half a cup of heavy whipping cream. And instead of an egg, we're gonna use a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. It's important to spread this out so it does not clump together. Next, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. We'll cover this up and blend for 15 seconds or so. It's very important to blend this thoroughly so that the xanthan gum doesn't tend to clump up. The other thing to note is the longer the xanthan gum sits in here, the thicker this will get. So while we like to refrigerate it just to make sure it's cool, we don't want this sitting around for too long, otherwise it does become way too thick. Now you'll see that this is not as yellow as the other two since we did not put an egg yolk in here. So to know that it is somewhat watery, but this will thicken pretty quick over time. Let's pour it into a cup and let it thicken probably over 30 minutes to an hour. Dust with some cinnamon and this can go in the fridge. So you'll notice this is still a quite thin liquid, but the longer it sits, that xanthan gum will thicken this up. So it's important not to use too much. Let's compare the three eggnogs that we made, shall we? So the first one is the raw egg eggnog. The second one is the cooked egg or tempered egg eggnog. And finally, we have the eggless eggnog using xanthan gum instead of egg. See, it is quite thick. It has thickened quite a bit since the beginning, and it's been about 30 minutes in the fridge. And here's our flight of eggnogs. Let's start tasting them. So the first one is the raw egg eggnog with a little bit of alcohol in. Mmm, this is good. It is like a traditional eggnog, that nutmeg and cinnamon, very traditional flavors, and you can definitely taste the whiskey that I had put in here. Very good. Next, we have the tempered egg eggnog. Mmm, really good as well. Very traditional flavors, a little thicker than the raw egg eggnog. Because there is not no alcohol in this one, the sweetness comes through a bit more. Lastly, we have the eggless eggnog. Equally good. The cinnamon and nutmeg come through. Less eggy and a bit thicker than the other two. Next time I can use a little less xanthan gum to make it thinner. So there you have it. Three wonderful keto-friendly eggnog recipes for the holidays. I'll also post a recipe for the lovely cloud bread you see in the background. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a wonderful holiday.